Hi everybody, it's your art teacher, Miss Veronica, and I'm super excited for our lesson today. Today we are going to talk about a book called The Color Monster. And I love this book so much. We're going to use this book, we're going to read the book together, and then I'd like for you to have some um, paper and some crayons too, for us to do a little something after we finish the book. All right, so paper and crayons, and then we're going to read this book together, The Color Monster. All right, so I'm going to start by showing you here the cover of the book, and it says The Color Monster, a pop-up book about feelings pop-up book about feelings. Let's go to the first page here. Whoa, look at that. There's the color monster. Whoops, there you go. And look at this. So this is the girl here. She's in black and white. And the color monster has all those different colors. Look how it comes off the edge of the book. And let's see what it says. This is my friend, the color monster. And today he's feeling all mixed up, but he doesn't understand why. Look at you, color monster. You are a mess. Look at the color monster there. Let's see what's on the next page. You've jumbled all of your emotions and all of your colors too. And there he is. He's all jumbled up with his colors. And look at that cool pop up there coming out of the book with all the colors of the rainbow in it. All right. I know, or I'm sorry, I know you can separate your feelings and put each one in its own jar. All right, he could separate his feelings maybe so he wouldn't feel so mixed up. This is happiness. Ooh, look at the pretty color of happiness. That nice yellow color, this is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh, jump, dance, and play, and you want to share your feeling with everyone. Yay, look how happy they are. All right, ooh, look at this one. What do you think that could be? Look at those clouds, storm clouds and rain. What feeling could that be? Let's see what it says. This is sadness. It's gentle and blue like a rainy day. When you're sad, you might want to cry or be alone. You can see the color monster in there. He's just laying in his bed. That is sadness. Ooh, look at this one. This is anger. It blazes red. When you're angry, you want to shout and roar and stomp. It's not fair. There's anger. And this is fear. It hides in black shadows. Look how small the color monster is underneath all of his fear. When you're afraid, you feel tiny and helpless. Fear makes it hard to be brave. And this is calm. Look at the color monster. Whoops, got a glare on it. Look at the color monster laying in his hammock. <laughs> this is calm. It is light as a green leaf floating in the wind. When you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply and you feel at peace. All your feelings are in their places now, see? They are easier to understand when they're not all mixed together. Look at that, we've got our sadness and anger over here, anger and fear and happiness and calm. All the feelings are in their places now, but wait, there's one feeling left over. What could it be? What feeling could that be? Hmm. You think maybe it's love, that last feeling? Well, I love this book, The Color Monster. And all I want you to do is take your paper and your crayons 
And you can always rewind the tape if you want to go back or rewind the video and take a look back at the book if you forget anything or you want to look at something again. And I want you to use your paper and I want you to choose a color from your crayon box and just think about how you're feeling today. And I want you to draw something with that color, with the color that kind of represents how you feel today. How do you feel? Maybe you feel happy and you want to use some yellow and some kind of orangey colors. It doesn't have to be the same as the book. But I just want you to draw something, thinking about the colors that you choose. And when you're using your colors and you draw your picture, I want you to draw whatever you want to draw. It could be a shape, you could block in that color, you could draw something that you think of, something that makes you happy or sad or makes you feel a certain way. And then once you finish, I would love for you to talk to someone in your house about it. Just about how you're feeling today and what you, cho what you chose to draw with your crayons. All right, and I would love to see what you guys come up with, and I'm really excited to see you next time. Thank you, everybody.